All right, so Teamer Song. This is another build around submission, although I don't know exactly how successful it's going to be. We've got a couple of different ideas going on here. So Song of Creation here. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. So what are we looking to do with this? We've got some free cards here with Stone Coil Serpent and Chamber Sentry, as well as um, Underworld Breach to recast these cards out of our bin and draw through a bunch of cards here. I've got some Land War Elves and some Paradise Druids to accelerate into Song of Creation. I've got some Ox of Agnos and Radical Ideas here as cards that we can play from the discard pile after we've discarded our hand. Rose Thorn Acolyte is free. You pay a mana in, you get a mana out, and it uh, it draws cards with this. This is also an adventure card. So if we put this into the adventure zone before we play Song, we can guarantee to have a spell on the turn after we untap with Song. The basic idea is that we'll draw through our deck with Song of Creation or Mill with Diligent Excavator and Underworld Breach plus these, and then eventually win the game by casting Thassa's Oracle. I, I feel like there's a chance that this idea ends up being worse than like the Luris Breach decks that we've played, but it's got some kind of novel things going on. I also like the idea of being able to kind of turn into like a fair, a fair Teamer Song deck post board. Like I've got, I've got four Bone Crusher and four Jace here, and I think like a reasonable plan in some situations is like cut the Chamber Sentries and the Diligent Excavators, and like be kind of a Song of Creation mid range deck too. If people, if people bring in too much Graveyard Hate, so let's go ahead and uh, pop on into some matches here with this one. Probably, probably intending to spew some of the rank we just laddered up with the uh, with the Esper Party Must deck. A medic, thank you for the four months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Happy Monday. I would love to play first. Easy key. Any standout decks from today? We just got done playing Esper Party Bus, and it was excellent. A lot of fun. How is Luca and Mono Black? Both very disappointing. Oh, oh, I could have I could have played Diligent Excavator there. I'm dumb. I forgot this let me play an extra land. So if I sequence differently, I can play this post-combat. We're gonna do the thing. Maybe we're currently missing second red. We don't have it, we don't have a guaranteed spell next turn, so we could we could fumble around here a little bit. What's the best way to send me some dollars? The donate link here, Defender of Cats. I appreciate the support. And if you do donate, be sure to take a peek at the deck queue. And let me know if there's something there you'd like to see a bit sooner. Anytime anybody donates a dollar or more, they're always welcome to do that. Love the people that support my content to kind of dictate what we do and when we do it. Feels bad, man. Feels, feels bad, man. Classic, classic Hoaglandia. Hope the survey support for Historic was going. Oh, I haven't pulled the survey up in a solid second. We are up to... We're up to 760 responses. 
And I, I, I'm just, I'm floored, chat. Historic is up to 97%. 97% of subs who said they are currently subbed to the channel are subbing to support Historic content. That That's a Hoaglandia record for reference. I've been, God bless America, my country, tis of the sweet land of liberty of the I sing. There are three, read them, three ox in this deck. Ali Ali oxen free. Do 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 do. Pew 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 pew. Not not only does Historic have 97% of subs who's filled out the survey say they sub to support Historic, but over 64% of you have said Historic is currently your favorite format. Which is awesome. It's currently my favorite format too, chap. Is this it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? I believe the underworld breach makes this deterministic. Isn't it? I'm so glad that the first time we got to do our thing, it got to happen against Nexus of Fate. Really, really just couldn't happen to a nicer opponent. Wait, I should... Should I do this? I have enough mana to do this, right? Oh, wait, no, did I mess up? Oh, the second excavator was a punt. Because I don't, I don't have mana... No, chat messed me up. Yeah, dang it, chat. I let you talk me into it being deterministic. It's not. Because, um... Well, I can't, I don't, I can't cast any more spells, chat. I can't cast any more spells. We done, we done messed up. I can't, I can't escape this. There's only three cards in my bin. And now, oh, okay, sweet. Okay, so we could, we could recover. Wait, can I cast? Oh, I don't have green mana. Oh, I don't have green mana to do this. That's so sad. Mistakes, mistakes were made, chat. Mistakes were made. It's okay. If, 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 if we get a turn, we have a chance to remedy. That's a big if, though. Big, big, big if if we get a turn.
The snakes were made, but this sub was it. John Ares, thanks for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. That's just rude. Don't have an excess. 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 Oh man, it's the thing I asked you not to have, opponent. Some return to natures. Oh, did they name? Did they name reclamation? I didn't. I didn't catch what they named. I just assumed they named Nexus. So I know there was a lot of outrage around the Players Tour changes, but but when is the Players Tour on Arena? Does anybody know? When when is that actually happening? Is it is it this because this weekend is this weekend's the slot machine tournament, right? The 30th is the slot machine tournament. And then is the players tour the week after this one? Using the Black Red Zombie List Historic made to Diamond for the first time. That's awesome, Tyler. What do I need? What do I need to add on the website? I need to add Jund Mid Range. I want to add Zombies up there because Tribal decks are great. And I need to add Jeskai Tempo. So I have three decks I want to get added up there tomorrow while I'm while I'm off. Uh, the Slot Machine Tournament. It's best of one, and you get to put twenty dollars into the slot machine as many times as you want to try and spike best of one. PT is June 13, 14, and 1921. PT Finals is July. Mythic Invitational is August. Okay. Ordu Info. Thanks for the brand new Prime Support. I appreciate that. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Easy Mulligan. Actually, you know what? I'm going to YOLO this. The hand's actually really good if we draw green. Am I going to update the party bus you played last round on your website? Yeah. Those aren't, those aren't, that isn't a new addition though. That deck's already on the site. I'm going to go over and do a bunch of updates there tonight. After, after the event this past weekend, I think I want to update all of the deck lists on my site to, uh, have extra hate for Winota in the sideboard, since I think that deck's more, going to be more popular now. Hey, thanks for the tip, Defender of Cats. I appreciate it. By participating in the slot shirt. Spend your money where you spend your time. Let's add this to your Grixis control. Sounds good, cats. I'll get the bumped up after I'm done today. Am I going to play in the slot machine tournament? Uh, I have no idea. There's potential to have a third child by then, so if that happens, certainly not. Anybody submitted Grohl Obosh from the open? They have not as of yet. So we have to discard these two cards, but again, it's like not a big deal because we're guaranteed to not brick next turn, at least to start, because we have Rose Thorn in exile. For you, it's 10k gold for five Dino Lands. Fair. Hey, thanks for the year and a half, Farsight. Remember, if you're a sub who loved or hated the open coverage, be sure to fill out the survey that was emailed out or is in the subs discord and let me know what you think. start. Let's try and not mess it up this time. J 
Jeff gives the subs homework, something like that. Hey, Mike, thanks for the brand new Prime support. Yeah, and if you're someone who enjoys my content and you've watched for a little while and you're a new sub today, be sure to pop into the subs Discord and you can uh, grab the sub survey link from there. Or if you're someone who's a regular Prime sub and it was lapsed last night when I emailed it out, you can find it from there as well. Uh, I don't believe Cardboard Live provides you a count of the number of cards remaining in the deck. If I if I recall correctly. We've got 10 cards in the bin, so we could technically escape this. We've got Rose Thorn Acolyte, so good chance we go off next turn. Players' cards are meeting. I wonder if that could reference my hand, perhaps. Does it? Does it currently say one now? Now that I drew a card, does it say one? It did not update to one. Yeah, I have no idea what that what that is intended to mean then. Underworld Breach is abandoned. Struck, you should really take 30 seconds and go through the cards on my web the decks on my website, Klets. Yeah, there's a there's a Luris Breach deck up there that's very reasonable. We've played a bunch of it. The last thing I'm going to do is read more spoken like a true magic player. How do you win? We have Thassa's Oracle in our deck. Oh no, we milled Underworld Breach. Alright, so I probably shouldn't mill myself anymore. Because two of my three Underworld Breaches are in the bin. Um, hmm... Thanks for the third of a year, Dice Boon. Welcome back. Kasha Dan, thank you for the very generous tier three resub. I appreciate the 16 months. Welcome back to Oglandia. This deck, the fact that we don't really generate mana while we go is super awkward. We keep like drawing a bunch of cards in a turn, but then not having any mana to do with them to like actually like keep going. So it feels like it's really easy to brick off. Unlike like the Mox Amber style combo decks where you generate mana as you go with them and like incorporating Mox Amber into the shell doesn't feel like it would be trivial because you need to rework a bunch of stuff. You need to like play a bunch of legends. And I feel like working Mox Amber into here puts you solidly into like worse than like the Grixis Breach style deck. Do you have do you have a link to what you're talking about, Hand Over Fist? Because actually I'm just gonna tag you out for being a being a turd. The, the standard version. Yes. Sorry, I must have missed all those really competitive standard 
teamer song decks that keep posting results at all of those tournaments. Eh. I hate, I hate when people are like, Jeff, you're playing the wrong version of this tier 4 archetype. Why, why didn't you put the proper version of the tier 4 deck in, Jeff? I will, I shall provide no reference material because you should just know what the correct version of the tier 4 deck is. Thanks for the 14 month streak, buddy. Welcome back. I believe you that there's probably something better to do with Breach than what I came up with here. But at the same time, like, don't act like it's some established thing that I should have been aware of. Perfect. Mulligan for Mana Dork and the song. Have all of our colors. Something that I'm super happy about with the sub survey so far is that in almost 800 responses, only four people said they weren't aware I had a website, so that's good. We're properly, properly shilling that, it would seem. Yeah, exactly, Wargy. Do you not get the morning new deck newspaper on your front lawn? I do not. Enchantress Presence Amari. Okay. You peaked you've piqued my interest. I'm I'm listening. So we accelerated a bunch there. Pretty good chance to go off next turn. The Diligent Excavator aspect of this deck that we're playing doesn't seem very good. Maybe I just want more zeros in my deck. Wow, that's rude. That's rude. Why you have to be so mean, opponent? Alright, so they put the elf in the bin. So I get to... Uh, get to escape the axe here. I sent 100% of my friends who play magic to your site. They don't follow the stream, but still check it from time to time. Sweet! Did I just forget to shock that in? This is summoning sick. Oops. That's fine. I'll play this instead. Yep. The throne is no longer empty, chat. The throne, the throne is no longer empty. Burning Tree Emissary could be okay. Huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I could see that. It's free, right, in terms of mana? Well, here's hoping we draw a spell next turn and get to, uh... Get to Trigger Song. All right, we got to win next turn, chat. So, fingers crossed we draw a spell. Maybe I should have played Song last turn and kept Rose Thorn in hand. Well, that's worse against another Conqueror's Death. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to... Just draw a spell here, huh? One of your finest spells, please, deck. <sighs> feels, feels magic, man. Feels magic, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut these. I think we'll, oh, we'll trip them from the 75 after this set. Spells are for winners. We def we definitely aren't one of those. Things things we are not. We are not when ours. Sure, we got double double disenchant here. Well, that's rude. Hey, Femoral, historic baby indeed. Thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Besides playing a lot of games, what are good ways to tell if a deck's performance is due to good or bad deck building versus play versus luck? I'd actually argue that playing a lot of games isn't even a good measure of that because the number of games that you need to play to remove sample size variance is much, much higher than most people think. Um, the, just there isn't there isn't a substitute for experience. There isn't a substitute to just like being familiar with magic and having that gut intuition to know what you're supposed to be doing. I'm gonna need to see Abzan, Amari, Enchantments, and Historic. Sounds good, Worky. <sighs> yeah, we're playing for Rose Thorn Ac Acolyte, Gilbert. Or literally four of them. As always, I'd recommend using the exclamation point deck command before you make make recommendations on cards what we should play. Randomly milling ourselves didn't didn't feel particularly good. The combo aspect of this deck just doesn't seem particularly good, does it? I wonder, what if, what if instead of being a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Classic, classic combo where, like... When we get everything set up, like, the number of times in this set so far, in, like, our two or three matches that we've played, where, like, we got Song in play, we drew a bunch of cards, and then nothing happened was, like, really high. I feel like... I feel like if I want to leverage this card... It's something, something more fair is probably the better direction to be. I don't know necessarily about Ox, but like the, um, the adventure aspect of what this deck is doing seems reasonable. I wonder if there's just like a Teamer Adventures deck. What is, what, how does Zenith Flare fix our issue half quarter? That, that doesn't fix any of the problems that we're having. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think I think I might I think I might just wrap up with you, man. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure that I could really. The submission for this was explicitly to try and find a combo deck and just like I feel like between this and the last time we tried this, I think I'm off of trying Song of Creation decks that I come up with myself because it just I feel like. We just end up being a bad Breach deck, is what we end up being. So, the Luris Breach deck is a deck that's up on my website. Super, super reasonable. And as far as, like, doing things with Underworld Breach and, like, zero mana artifacts, I think this is just much, much better than anything Song of Creation is able to, able to muster. So... Yeah. All right. I'm going to hit a quick ad roll really quick while I get set up and get my client restarted and flipped over for the next one. We've got one more deck coming up before I'm done here today. We are going to play some four color humans to wrap things up here. So we've got, uh, we've got four missing cards here. So I'm going to take a peek and see what's missing from here for a second. And the submission will be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out folks. Don't go anywhere. It's like in that says.